The next scenario I'm going to take you through is single voicemail. So this is what it says on the tin. The ability for all of your devices to notify you when you have a voicemail. So for this scenario, I'm going to use Nick's phone. He's out and about in the field. He wants to get hold of Andrew. But Andrew's not going to be available, so he's going to just leave him a voicemail. So I'm calling Andrew, again, just using the four-digit internal extension number. As you can see, Andrew's Jabber client's ringing, his fixed phone and his mobile. If I just decline that call, as he's not able to answer it for now. Andrew Fox. Is not available. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press hash for more options. Hi Andrew, it's Nick here. Can you give me a call when you get this? Thank you. So I've now left Andrew a voicemail. Now, after the holding period's gone off, which again I mentioned that we set to 10 seconds, what you'll see is a notification will appear on every single one of Andrew's devices. So what this means is, he's now got this red light appear on his desk phone, a text has come through to his mobile, and a notification will appear in his Jabber client. Whatever device Andrew sees first, as soon as he's out of that meeting or as soon as he's available, he can listen to that voicemail on that device and the notification will disappear off all of his other devices. If I just go into his mobile phone and listen to that voicemail, So I've now listened to that voicemail, so as soon as I hang up, what you'll see, once it will register that I've now come off the phone, the notification will be removed off all of my devices. So all that means is, I will then not have to go in and remove it from every single device individually, it will register that I've listened to that. As you can see, the red light has disappeared off his desk phone, and the notification has disappeared from his Jabber client. If I want to delete a voicemail, I can just delete it from one and every single one of the notifications will be removed and the message will be deleted from all of my devices. That just saves me a lot of time and hassle having to go into every one and delete it. Similarly, it might be that I listen to a voicemail in a bit of a rush manner and I want to remind myself to re-listen to that voicemail later on. If I mark that voicemail as unread in my Jabber client or my mobile phone, the notification will then reappear on all of my devices. The second part of the scenario is visual voicemail. So if I just draw your attention to Jane's laptop over here, what you can see is it's notified her that Jane has a voicemail waiting for her. So here, you know when someone leaves you a voicemail with a number on and you have to listen to that about eight times in order for you to get that number written down? Well, this is going to solve that problem for you because you can simply skip back to the exact point when that number was being read out. So if I just play the message now, Hi Jane, it's Emily. I can skip to the right point that I want and replay it again. And by not having that message delivered into your inbox, it's not clogging up your memory, it's simply sitting in your Jabber client. You can keep it there as long as possible or you can delete it when you've finished with it. And then again, it will be deleted off every single one of your devices. So that is single voicemail.